Hello viewers, welcome back to yet another episode from Science Facts History channel. Today we are going to see the 15 steps to success and financial freedom. The future has many names. For the weak, it's unattainable. For the fearful, it's unknown. And for the bold, it's ideal. These are the golden words spoken by Victor Hugo a long time ago and it's still relevant even today. So today we are going to see how we can use 15 simple steps to attain financial freedom and success. We here at Science Facts History Channel have done a lot of research and most of the things that are being presented here are based on some of the noteworthy works on wealth and its creation by prominent uh, rich people like Andrew Carnegie and personality trainer and wealth coach Napoleon Hill. So some of the points that we are going to present uh, are from the well acclaimed book written by Andrew Carnegie, uh, The Gospel of Wealth. Uh, Andrew Carnegie came up from very humble backgrounds. Uh, he was an Irish man who used to like polish shoes in the streets of London. He migrated to the United States and he built a steel business that was worth more than five billion dollars. And during his times, he was one of the richest man in the world. He was the richest man in the world. Um, so some of the topics that we are going to see here are borrowed from his work. And some of the other things that we're going to see some of the points are being borrowed from the well acclaimed best-selling uh, self-help book think and grow rich by napoleon hill who by the way was uh, actually inspired by andrew carnegie so let's get right into the video so the first step towards success and riches is to have one definite chief aim so there is a saying that goes like this if you do not know where to go Every path will take you to that point, which basically means that if you don't know where to go, you will always float around. Even if you have the best build ship, it doesn't know its destination. Uh, it's going to wander throughout the ocean of uncertainty. Now, the next thing that is very important is self-confidence. No matter how talented or intelligent you are, if your self-esteem is low, you will reach nowhere. That brings us to the third most important step towards success and riches. The habit of saving. This is perhaps one of the most important qualities among all successful people. You gotta save for investing in the future. Poor spend, the rich invest. There has been no such instance where somebody has become immensely rich and successful without this one key habit of saving. Now that brings us to the fourth most important step towards riches and success. If you want to be successful and rich, you need to take the initiative and take control of your life. So initiative and leadership is very crucial to being successful and rich. Because if you don't take initiative, you will always be left behind and you need to lead a team from the front else you will not be able to progress through your career or your business. Now here comes the fifth and one of the most important points towards riches, the mastermind. Hope you would have heard the proverb, birds of the same feathers flock together, rightly said. You need to form a group of like-minded people who share the same aspiration and dreams as that of yours. They should genuinely sympathize with your cause. A union of similar minds will produce a third mind which is superior to all those minds put together and it is called the master mind and it is connected to the divine infinity and it will guide you towards greater riches and infinite success. Now that brings us to the sixth point or the sixth step towards success and riches. Imagination and creativity. You will notice that we have not included intelligence in the list of 15 qualities required for success. 
Once Albert Einstein said, if you ask me if imagination or intelligence is more important, I would go for imagination and not intelligence. Without imagination and creativity, you will never be able to accomplish anything significant because you won't be able to create something which is new, which is disruptive and the world will not change and be static without people who doesn't have imagination or creativity. Enthusiasm You should put your energy and enthusiasm behind everything that you do so much so that it reflects in the form of perfection in anything that you touch. A dull and a lazy person is not preferred anywhere. So be enthusiastic in whatever you do, be it the smallest of the smallest work or the greatest uh, complicated, most complicated work they are that you are engaged in. But enthusiasm is key. From the time you wake up till you go to sleep, you have to be an enthusiastic person spreading more energy and happiness and smiles around you. Now that brings us to the eighth most important step, self-control. This is something which is lacking in the newer generation and without this quality it's very difficult to succeed in life even if you have all the other qualities that is being mentioned here. Having self-control over everything from spending money to getting into relationships uh, and to even to your food and the amount of time you sleep, control is very important. Too much of anything is too bad. Some people have control over everything else but they don't have a control over their spending habit which is really bad and that can mean a lot in terms of losing business and being one step away from perpetual success and happiness. That brings us to the ninth step doing more than what you're paid for. Now this is one quality that is lacking in 99.99 percentage of the people that we see around ourselves. Most of them come to the office, they do a business, but they do things that fall below what they are paid for. They never take that extra step to do more than what they are paid for. The moment you start doing that, you will be adding value, you will be adding more worth to your work and more and more people will be attracted towards you because you are doing more than what you are required to do and only those people who do these things will succeed in life. That brings us to point number 10, a charming personality. This helps you to build better trust and boost your sales in whichever area you are doing business in. In Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill says that 95% of the people, 95% of the times, people are buying a personality rather than a product. Because a charming personality can attract customers and can bring in engaging sales. Accurate thinking. I don't think I need to elaborate on this, but you have to have a good analytical mind to make good decisions in business and in personal life. So accurate thinking is a must. Now that brings us to point number 12 and that is concentration. Pinpoint concentration on the work at hand. Even though you're multitasking, when you're doing a particular task or a particular job, you have to pay attention to it. A person who doesn't have concentration, it's very likely, it's very likely that he's gonna fail or it's very unlikely that he's gonna succeed in his life or in his business or in his career because you have to have concentration and there are a lot of exercises, a lot of meditative tactics to improve your concentration and we'll make a separate video on that. Now that brings us to the lucky 13, cooperation and teamwork. No one can achieve anything on their own. Just imagine a world where you are on your own, talking to no one, doing nothing and there is nothing to be accomplished without the approval and the happiness of others. No one can achieve anything on their own. They need to cooperate as teams both in personal and in professional life to succeed. Even when you are managing a family, you need to work like a team so that your family moves from prosperity to prosperity and finds perpetual happiness. Same is the case with your career and your business. You need to have 
cooperation, teamwork and a cordial relationship with both employees as well as your customers so that you can grow in your business or any venture that you are engaged in. That brings us to one of the most important steps towards success in business and that's nothing but failure. Grow with failure. Fail quick and fail fast. Learn from failures and never make the same mistake again. Because once Aristotle has famously quoted saying that if you don't want to fail in life, do nothing, say nothing and don't do anything. So a person who has never failed has never done anything much in his life. So if you want to grow, you need to fail and use the failure as a stepping stone towards success. Every failure is not a failure but a lesson in itself. Now that brings us to the final point towards success and financial freedom and that is tolerance. Successful people endure because they are tolerant and do not discriminate people based on their racial, political or religious inclinations. They are even open to opposing thoughts. Just think about that. If you have to be successful, you need to open your eyes and ears to even opposing thoughts and ideologies. You need to accept that. You need to accept its existence, even though you're not going to practice them on your day to day life. But tolerance is key. Without that, it will be very, very difficult to climb up the ladder of success and attain financial freedom. So we hope you enjoyed this video. So please hit the like button and whatever you feel about this video, your thoughts, your views, please leave a comment on the comment section below. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for getting immediate notifications on all our future videos. Now this video, if it is able to help you in your future, it can help your friends, your colleagues, your family and your near and dears. So please do share this video with people whom you think need help in this direction. Thank you once again guys. Thank you so much. Keep watching this space. More is coming your way. Thank you for watching this video.